Norman, we're here today at the, the launch of the new foundation. First of all, just, just how pleased are you to have got it off the ground? Well, it's taken a bit longer than I would like. Uh, I didn't realise when I actually got rid of the old scheme because of reasons which have now become apparent that it would take so long to actually get us to a, establish a new charity uh, for the purposes of providing something to the community. I'm extremely pleased because I'm a great believer that um, we have a responsibility in doing what we can for the, for the youth in, within the Burslem area. Tom, you're standing in front of us now as the, the club's new foundation manager. How does that feel? Um, privileged, to be honest. Um, the football club has been a massive part of the community in the past and the last couple of years it hasn't hasn't been there and I'm, I'm really excited um, for Port Hale Football Club to be back in the community. I think the club has neglected the last 10 years or so of the community and in particular the kids and it was easier for people to get the kids to go and watch Stoke because of the product and the, in most of the 10 years the Premiership brand. If in future we're able to redirect some of those kids back to Port Vale that sent yeah. That, that, that's what it's all about regarding these schemes and then first when they were first created. I think short term wise we are networking in all of the local schools and the community at this moment in time the, as we've said with the chairman that the children are the future of this football club whether they're five years of age now to keep them involved and in not just football but using the power of the football club to keep them so to, to retain and grow the fan base that we've already got um, and immediate goals will be to run weekly soccer schools on a weekend during evenings and during the half-term holiday programmes so that way that children can get involved in the local community. Well obviously I was part of the recruitment process with the Football League and various other people in the club and the academy and so on. Um, we had to find somebody who had an empathy with the problems of the area and why the club hadn't dealt with some of those problems. Tom seems to have got the grasp of that, understands the challenges and the great challenges. For me personally I've been around for six years doing my previous role when I heard the opportunity came up. Um, it was one that I didn't really have to think about. It was something that I, I knew that felt right, given the opportunity, which I have been. Um, I'm, I'm excited to get stuck in and you know, hopefully make it a success.